hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a multi select tag input kind of a select drop down component in react.js application using react dash select library so basically this is a demo of the application you will see this is a simple drop down here you can select multiple items from the drop down so let's suppose i select the argentina you will see this is a nice animation which is going on so it is taking the shape of a tag input where you can select multiple items so basically whenever you upload a youtube video whenever you want to insert some kind of youtube tags you have this kind of interface if you want to delete some item you can click the cross icon and it will delete items and if you want to add it you will see if you want all the items here like this you can simply click this cross item it will delete all the entries like this so this will be the select input that we will be preparing in react.js application how we can achieve this using react.select library so if you want the full source code you can go to the video description link here this is a blog post i have written step by step and all the source code is given with image instruction also so just go to the video description link to download all the source code so for building this application we are making use of this library if you go to npmjs.com this is a node uh, li npm library node library which is react.select you can see it has got over 3 million weekly downloads and we are also using bootstrap as a front end for all these animations going on so now let's start building this application let me show you this is my brand new react.js project so just execute the command npx create dash react app and then followed by your app name i have already created the app so this is my brand new app you can see nothing is there inside app.js and here first of all you need to install two libraries first is react dash select just install this i have already installed this library and also you need to install bootstrap just type npm i bootstrap so these will install these two libraries here now i can start the application by executing npm start so here first of all guys what we need to do is that we need to display something on the screen here so you will see it has started the app but nothing is there on the screen so we simply need to have a class level component class app extends component and uh, we also need to import this from react library so we can say import react and component from react library so this contains a render method so basically inside this we will have render method we will have a return statement so inside this return inside parentheses we will have a simple div which will say hello world so now if you refresh the application it will automatically refresh it so it is saying export default is not found so at the very last you need to export your component so we will say export default app and now you can see hello world is printed out so now we simply need to uh, display that select list it is very simple instead of hello world we need to display the select list for doing that guys we will need to prepare a list of items that needs to be inserted in select list so that list can be anything it can be uh, coming from a database or you can manually enter items here let's suppose i declare countries array here this will be a countries array array of objects so i will have the first object let me format this format document so 
so inside this there will be a label which will be shown to as any country of your choice you can say India and also we will have a simple value which will be 100 this needs to be colon and now to insert the second entry put a comma and another object label this time this will be Australia and value should be let's suppose you can give value anything of your choice this should be numeric value so let me change this to number value sorry 100 so it is saying that const modifier can only be used in typescript files uh, let me just see what is if you go to the video description link this is the code which is given here if I paste this code here like this this is my country's code here Uh, sometimes uh, VS code can create some problems guys so I have rewritten, rewritten the code here so you will see no problem is there the code is perfectly running fine here so in this scenario you can create multiple items like this we can have another label another country I will can give one New Zealand and value should be let's suppose 55 so now we have three countries now we can have a simple select list in order to prepare that we will have inside this return statement instead of having a div here simple we will say inside return we will have a div which will have a class name of container which is a bootstrap class <coughs> and inside this container class we will have a row class of again this is a bootstrap classes and then we again have call dash md dash 3 so this is column medium 3 class or bootstrap this needs to be closed right here we don't need to write anything here <coughs> so this, this is basically used to do formatting then we have another class of call md6 column medium 6 and this will be in the middle of the screen so here we will say our select component will be there select this one and as I select this it will automatically import it from this library which is react select slash dist or we, what we can do is that we can import the whole library like this import select from react dash select so write this line at the very top and now you can use this select component here so basically if I refresh the application it is saying you haven't exported your app so export default app and now you will see that guys this is our select component so we haven't inserted any sort of options so you will not see any options here so let's suppose let me insert some options here so have we have this select so there is the options parameter and inside this options parameter you can assign your array of countries here which we have prepared simply insert this if you refresh it let's suppose now you will see all the countries appearing in the drop down so you can insert one more entry here and this will reflect it inside the drop down let's suppose turkey and value you can any value you can give here this doesn't 
you will see this parameter is also not required if you don't give this parameter only if you give the label I think then only it should also work you will perfectly fine but for the sake of this application I have prepared the value parameter as well and after giving these options we also need the cross button to delete the items as well so there is again a components parameter and inside components we need to assign a property which will be defined custom property animated components so at the very top you need to assign this property const animated components and this will be equal to make a function which will be there inside the library make animated so now we need to write a line at the very top we need to import this function so this will be very simple we will say import make animated from and this is there inside this library react dash select slash and there is a library inside this which is animated like this after attaching this we need to make this component a multi select component by attaching a property which is is multi is multi that's it so this makes it that multiple select list so this will provide a cross arrow here like this so from a single option this has attached a various kind of properties here you can also cross the button here so just attaching this simple parameter which is is multi there are various other parameters which are there inside this library is loading is options disabled is searchable also so basically if I attach is searchable also now even you can also search here also like this <coughs> if I remove this you can't search if I see So various options are there for this specifically and now to make this in the middle of the screen after this we need to attach after outside this div we will have another div call md4 so this would be again an empty div that's it so now if you refresh it and this is not doing any effect because we haven't imported bootstrap so at the very top in order to import bootstrap css file we have a import statement that we need to write import bootstrap slash dist and inside dist folder we have the css folder slash bootstrap dot min dot css this is a file that we need to import after doing that you will see at the very center it will have the select box here and it has applied the styling of bootstrap also all these classes which we have given here which is container row so it is pinpointing the select box in the middle of the screen so this is all that we need to do inside these we can repeat these options put unique options also according to your application you can do this paste it so now we have eight options here you will see <coughs> so repeated options are not appearing once again so that is the way by which you can create multi input select drop down component in react.js application using react dos select library and also we are using some bootstrap also 
so all the source code will be there inside video description if you want the source code please like the video subscribe the channel and comment on this video and i will be seeing you the next video